It all started last week when I came across something mysterious at work. to find myself in this line of work, solving crimes and writing it to share my experience with the world. But sometimes the universe speaks in mysterious ways, and I guess this was just my calling. Yes, I'm telling you. There was blood on one of the knives at work. Someone has to do it, and today, that someone is me. I vow not to let this mystery go unsolved. No. I have to handle this on my own. I had to first figure out what information I had and from that conclude what I still needed. Okay, so what do we know? We know that the attack happened sometime between the night of June 12th at 7 p.m. and the morning of June 13th at 10 a.m. We know that because I finished the dishes the night of June 12th and there was no suspicious activity. What I don't know is why the morning dishwasher wouldn't have noticed a blood mark on a knife. I also know that blood was only on one knife, which means it was probably a planned attack. I guess the last thing we know is that this is a smart criminal because they didn't leave any other traces of evidence behind. Let's get to work. Once I knew the information that I needed to gather, I knew I had to make some phone calls. This is the job after all. Hey, Jesse. It's me. Hey, I uh, have some questions that I need answered. Yeah, yeah. Where were you on the night of June 12th? Oh, is that right? You were at the restaurant. Oh, no reason. Just, uh, you know, just asking. So, uh, did you happen to notice anything off? You know, anything out of the ordinary? No? Okay, yeah. Yeah, sure, let's talk later. Yeah, okay. Suspicious. <sighs> hey, Justin. Yeah, it's me. Hey, yeah, I, uh, I noticed that you were the morning dishwasher on June 13th, and I was just wondering if you happened to notice anything weird or off that day? Yeah, yeah, it was last week. No, I, I don't know if Jessica was working that day. Yeah, yeah, I heard about the breakup. Sorry about that. No. Can you please just get back to the point? Was there anything weird about that day? Justin, can you stop crying for a second and answer the question? I knew I needed to change my strategy if I was going to get anything useful out of these people. So I went back to the drawing board. Okay, so I bought this book. And it's kind of like a, you know, interrogation techniques for dummies type of thing. And I was reading it and I found this part, and it says that deception can be a good strategy, so I think I can do that. Hey Jessica, it's me. Hey, I was just gonna let you know that I talked to Justin and he totally threw you under the bus. I know exactly what happened. 
Wait. Wait, no, Jessica, I wasn't talking about the breakup. No, don't cry. Jessica, don't cry. I was... I was calling about something completely unrelated to the breakup. I was starting to feel hopeless. I was running out of witnesses and I had no new leads. I was questioning myself. Is this really the line of work I was cut out for? But then I remembered. If not me, who? Someone had to solve the mystery and put this murderer away for good. It had to be me. I just needed to get smarter about it. Wait a minute. There is one person who has access to the security footage. <sighs> this was the moment I had been waiting for. My boss said she had access to the security footage and that she'd send it over straight away. I knew I was about to catch the culprit, find out who had been murdered, and be responsible for putting a cold-blooded murderer behind bars forever. All my doubts about whether this was my calling or not disappeared. I knew this was my time to shine. Moment of truth. It was my own ketchup.